Welcome back and thank you for joining me today. It is Thursday, it is December 3rd, 2020. A very cold and, and crispy cold day actually. And um, there's still a bit of snow lying around, which is beautiful. So winter has finally arrived. And I'd like to read you something by a French poet today. The poet Jacques Prévert, who lived from 1900 to 1977, was born in Neuilly-sur-Seine in France, near Paris. His poems are often about life in Paris and life after World War II. He participated actively in the Surrealist movement and together with the writers Raymond Quenot and Marcel Duhamel, he was a member of the Rue du Chateau group. He was also a member of the Agiprop group Octobre. His poems have been sung by prominent French vocalists, including Marianne Oswald, Yves Montand, and Edith Piaf, as well as the later American singers Joan Baez and Nat King Cole. And the poem I would like to read to you today is again from this lovely little book. And um, it's called The Garden. Thousands and thousands of years would not suffice to tell you the sweet moments of eternity when you kissed me, when I kissed you. One moment in the light of winter in Montsouri Park in Paris, in Paris upon this earth, this earth which is a star. And I'm going to try something I've never tried before and I hope you're going to pardon my French because as the original is of course in French, I'm going to make an attempt at that. So please bear with me and be kind. Le jardin, des milliers et des milliers d'années, ne saurions suffire pour dire la petite seconde d'éternité où tu m'as embrassé où je t'ai embrassé un matin dans la lumière de l'hiver au parc Montsouris à Paris à Paris sur la terre la terre qui est une astre so I hope that wasn't too bad, but I think the garden by Jacques Prévert speaks of this never ending love for which even an eternity can never be enough because a life without the one you love is simply unthinkable. And I chose a beautiful piece of music by Roy Hargrove, Strasbourg et demi. So I hope you enjoy that as well. And of course it's been added to the poetry love playlist and, um, Wishing you a wonderful day and please join me again tomorrow. Bye bye.